<laughs> 549 right now. Taking a look outside. You know, it's chilly and windy morning in San Francisco. Palm trees kind of moving in the wind. They were whipping around last night from those powerful gusts that hit the Bay Area. This is from our exclusive ballpark cam. Pretty cool out there. So if you're headed outdoors, make sure you uh, bring a jacket or else you might be buying one of those famous San Francisco fleeces <laughs> if you head to the city today. <laughs> How are we looking, Gary? Yeah, it's been so cool there, and it's still going to be windy. I have some breaking drought news that just came out a few minutes ago. We just got the update of the drought monitor, and it looks dire at this uh, point. Definitely an emergency situation, as now the Bay Area is included in the highest level of a drought, exceptional, where we see the dark shades of red. So that goes from Ukiah to Santa Rosa, down to Napa, through Oakland, and down to the Tri Valley. This is definitely a, an emergency situation here. This is what exceptional drought means for you, that we have a year-round fire season and that we are going to have very low water levels. Those fields are just left fallow out there where we see a, a lot of irrigation needed, and those water levels are so low that it's hard to uh, find anywhere to get that, and that makes food prices rise. And so water becomes a lot more expensive as well. And then as we we go through the summer, poor air quality. When we think about what that means for our agriculture and how much of the food that we make for the rest of the country, this does not uh, just affect California. This is going to affect the whole country as we make 90% of the country's wine and uh, also some very high amounts of the nuts, fruits, vegetables. So this is something we'll continue to watch for today. We'll have more updates throughout the morning, but our temperatures at least are right now very chilly and it's been also not Nice to see some of the showers that we've seen moving through parts of the Sierra. That's what's caused those gusty winds, and we're going to watch those rain chances continue there as well.